Patty Bullard from Wired Up Beats University. Today we're going to do a short tutorial on how to make an S-link. We're going to take a piece of wire and learn how to make uniform links using these really unusual but neat pliers called Weber's Bell Making Pliers. So pull up your chair, get a cup of coffee, and let's get started. This is an S-Link made from 14 gauge sterling silver wire. I'm going to show you how to make this S-Link today using the medium sized Weber's bell making pliers. We're going to practice though with copper because copper is less expensive than sterling but I also think this link is beautiful done in copper. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pair of flush cutting pliers. These are heavy duty. We sell them at Wired Up Beads and they're Italian made. You'll notice one side is flat. I'm going to take the flat part of my cutters and place it against the part I want to keep. I'm going to um, grip it high in the jaw to save the life of my cutters and then I'm going to turn it down and shield it with my fingers so that it protects me from any flying pieces. And you'll notice that now I have a very flat end on my wire. After we have a flat end on our wire, we're going to pick up our ruler. I like to hold it with the numbers upside down. I'm right-handed and I place my wire. I'm going to start with a three and a quarter inch piece of wire to test and see if I get a um, proportional S-link. I'm going to lay it onto my ruler, take my flush cutters, again put, place the flat side against the part I'm going to keep and I snip it high in the jaw. Then I now have a wire that has both ends flush cupped. Next I'm going to take my medium sized bail makers. I'm going to put the large jaw toward me, the small jaw away from me. I'm going to place the wire in the jaws, high up in the jaws, because it also preserves the lives of my pliers. And I want the top to be flush, not sticking up like that, but flush like this. And this will help me get a nice round loop. The next thing I'm going to do is roll the wire, grasp it tightly, roll it away from me, adjust my pliers and roll it again until I have a nice closed loop. I now have a loop on one end of my wire. I'm going to turn it around and put a loop on the other end going the opposite direction. So I place the wire into the jaws of my pliers, again having the top flush, and I'm going to roll, start to roll a loop away from me, adjust my pliers and continue to roll until my loop is closed. And you'll notice that now there are loops on each end of the wire that are going opposite directions. Now that I have two loops on each end of the wire and they're going opposite directions, I'm going to take the wire and I'm going to play like this as a little spine with a head and a chin. And I'm going to place the chin against the small jaw of the pliers, which is now toward me, the big jaws away. I'm going to grasp the wire tightly and I'm going to roll the wire to where the back of the head touches the spine. And it looks like this. After I do this, I'm going to do the opposite end just exactly the same way. I'm going to place the little chin down snug against the small jaw and I'm going to roll away from me. And now you'll see I have a nice S-link. One of the things I like to do with S-links is try to place this one right above this one where it's a little closer to the proportion of this one so I know that I can cut my wire just a sixteenth of an inch shorter. We finished our copper S-link and uh, we're going to cut it just slightly shorter and do it in silver and I'm going to demonstrate for you how to hammer your S-link. You can either hold it off the edge of the block like this or you can take a pair of Weber's bent nose and uh, use it to grasp your um, S-link. We're going to first flatten the S-link and I like to do it on each end. I'm using gentle taps and you can see that the S-link is starting to flatten.
You'll notice that now that we've hammered, it has spread our S-Link to where it's open. I'm going to show you a little trick on how to close your S-Link back up. I'm going to take a pair of um, wide nose Weber's pliers and I'm going to hold my S-Link and I'm going to work the metal back and forth, almost like when you open and close a jump ring, like this, and that will close that. You'll notice there's a tiny little space there. I can do the same thing with my pliers, work it back and forth until I close that little space. I'll flip it around, do the other side, and now it's closed again. Now that I have it closed back up, I'm going to lay it on the block, and I'm going to take my pliers and hold this again, and I'm going to flip my hammer over and use the small side, and I'm going to... starting to get some nice texture and then after I do the top part I'm going to come in and do my edges to bevel them Last, I'm going to take a, um, this is a weighted rawhide hammer, and I'm going to just flatten and now it's nice and flat, and you can see we have a beautiful hammered S-Link.